You mentioned the responsibility uh, delegates like constituency chairmen have to police station officers and the exactly. like. Exactly. So uh, there's an example in the United States with the Democratic Party where the equivalent of a constituency chairman doesn't necessarily have to listen to the recommendations of his people. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know how the structure is in Ghana here to hold them accountable to the people if, say, they go contrary to the wishes of what is the the, what. Uh, when you say holding them accountable, the reality is that by the nature of, by the architecture of our voting system, the aspirants will be visiting constituency by constituency. So far, Dr. Baumia has visited 154 constituencies out of the 276. Mm -hmm. These 154 constituencies run up to a total of 128,637 delegates that he's interacted with, out of a total of 205,000. So he's gone past the majority in terms of the delegates that he's interacted with. So if you are a chairman and this candidate visits your constituency, how the person is received, mind you, it's a mass election in 2024. The constituency executives, the polling stations that you have within the constituencies, they represent that small community. So if you elect Sami or Paul or Mikhail, and Mikhail is not popular, with that community, the votes will tell you, and it will show. Mm -hmm. So if the chairman goes to support a candidate that doesn't reflect the popularity of the party at the base, your candidate will visit your constituency. And in terms of that acceptability, the welcome, the euphoria that you expect, you may not get it. I have said mm -hmm. that all the 10 aspirants contesting, look, these are fabulous gentlemen, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. man to man, intellectual ability, how they're able to communicate the party's ideals, ideas, vision of the party. These are all strong royals of the MPP. I am speaking for my candidate because I'm not here to speak for another candidate. But I believe that if I will wish all the, the nine aspirants the best of luck, I will wish my candidate success on Saturday. And I believe that Saturday will be a reflection of where the party wants to go in terms of its direction. And it is my hope and prayer that Dr. Baumia secures enough vote to give him a clear mandate to go into the November primaries. It will be a tragedy for the party to vote on this one gets 30%, this one gets 20%. This, that will be like a hung situation. Whoever the party wants to go for, even if it's not Dr. Baumia, give the person a clear mandate and give the person that momentum to move into the next phase. Mm. But I believe that uh, my candidate can secure that uh, great number let, of me, let me interrupt you with this text message. This is Deputy Chief of Staff uh, Emmanuel Bosman, but we call him Carlos von Brazi. He says the program <laughs> is solid. Day. <laughs> day, day, day. You give me mega nostalgia from the time Victor Newman asked myself, Cabo and Sam Ellis, to ask Dr. Baumia, the then Deputy Governor, to come and run with Nana Kufuado after the party had rejected the choice of Hajia Alima Mahama. The history is real. New exciting history is about to be made for sure. He comes back and says, you, pa, have you seen police station on any social media platform? That was Peter Obi's problem. He was a good candidate. That wasn't smart on the ground. Balmia is the exact opposite of that. Marshalling it all at both ends. I give him 76.56 plus or minus two on uh, Saturday. Francis <laughs> Isiam is writing uh, to us here and she says that Sami has voice, a voice of the people. Uh, plenty, 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 plenty uh, coming out. And my question is, do you think Dr. Baumia can be our next um, Kwame Nkrumah? Is he intending to lead any different from our current president you know, with extraordinary ideas? Well, um, I think Dr. Baumia has stated that, look, the current president came to office with his vision. If you're vice president, you are supporting your president to achieve his vision for the country. And he has also clearly indicated that he has his own vision for Ghana. And I've heard him talk about a couple of them, which I find very exciting. And his policies that he wants to introduce, if he's elected leader of the MPP, and what he will lead the MPP to put before the Ghanaian people, um, is something Ghanaians should watch out for. Because um, some will also help improve upon what we do, and dramatically even change how we go about even our budget system as a country. And, um, okay, so uh, Franklin Kujo is, is, uh, is putting you out there on social media, Samir Oku. Oh. He, he reminds me that uh, oh, well, Sal... I, I haven't is, seen him in a long time. Yes, yes, yes. He reminds me that Sal is Santrofi, Akpafu, Lolobi, and Likbe. 
But then he types this in black and white, uh, typed by Franklin Kujo, it's in quotes, quotation. It says, the MPP will win 2024 elections on strategy, and the NDC won't understand, unquote. Samia Uku, campaign manager for Baumia and director general of national law. Franklin Kujo, you didn't add that. He said it on your favorite program, Good Evening Ghana. Please and again, and again but where I disagree with him on is that, Paul, I think I'm on this uh, mm. program this evening as a former national youth leader. It's a former uh, okay. national organizer. Not as a campaign Talking manager. MPP matters, yes. but not as Director General NLA. Okay, yes. we, have to, we have to emphasize that. <laughs> yes. Honorable Eko Vincent Asafwa is also uh, saying hi to you. Uh, Farouk is from uh, Tema. Uh, His Excellency Isaac Osei says, good program. Samia Oku has been brilliant. Oh, Honorable Echi. Since you moved from Labonia, I don't know where you live, so I, I can't find you anymore. But I really need to see you for an interesting mm. conversation. As you can say, he's one of the finest gentlemen that, uh, that, that the MPP has produced, Samuel. Um, he's, he's one of the people that I just admire him. Mm. Mm. He's, he's, he has that cool temperament. He, he's just like my former boss, Nana Kumia. Yeah. You know, they never get upset. And uh, uh, these are great people. Honorable Salifu uh, Mahamas, Honorable Salifu Mahamas 8. He's writing. He says, can you help me ask Samir Oku, how do I become like him? How does he become like you? I think you? it's Mahami Salifu. Mahami Salifu, yes. Yeah, yes, he's yes, a yes, member correct. of our National Council of Elders. Mm -hmm. If it's Mahami Salifu, a former um, minister for the Upper East. Okay, so uh, uh, one of my... Lawyer, and I really want friends. to encourage the mm -hmm. young people supporting all the aspirants. Mm -hmm. Look, let, let the campaign be exciting. Mm -hmm. There's no need going on an insulting spree. Mm -hmm. Let the campaign be exciting. Bring out the best of your candidate. Mm -hmm. Tell me why your candidate should be number one. And I want, um, really, I really want the young people in the campaign teams of all the candidates to really take center stage. We all should have a debate. Now. They should have a debate. Well, and again, and again <laughs> be in charge of the campaigns. Mm -hmm. Because without insult. Without insult. Because that's the only way that we can all toss the ideas. We should have a passionate, legitimate debate on the future of our party. But all with one focus, to produce a cutting edge solution to the problems confronting our country. I have been excited when I've heard President Akufado say that there's been no intimidation. Now, can you confirm that Peter Mehu is Alan, he's Alan every day? I understand there was a banter between him and uh, the president at Tiberi, and the president was teasing him that uh, Peter, how is your campaign going? And Peter said, Mr. President, you have to join. Alan is going to win. And uh, is, is, that, is, that, is that reflection correct, or is it's out there, but in there, there's a problem? Is it? I don't think there's a problem. I mean, honestly, when people talk of even intimidation, somebody like Opari answer. Yes. He's never supported an Ekufuado candidature. No, never. He's never supported an establishment. Mm -hmm. He's one of the campaign um, 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 coordinators for Dr. Baumia. I give you the Honorable MP for Dr. Bree. He's been an out and out, mm -hmm. anti mm -hmm. anything related Ekufuado. to the establishment of mm -hmm. Ekufuado. But Jemfi, he openly declared to support Dr. Baumia on the campaign. Just as he said, let Richard Anani, is that let me give you. Let me give yes, you. I'll come before. to that. Yeah. There is an, a, a MP, Honorable Abna Deputy Finance Minister, supporting Deputy. Alan. Yeah. Is that what I'm saying? And is she a, went on the walk a, nicely. Yes, and that is the, that is a beautiful nature. Mm -hmm. Vice President was in the Eastern Region to meet Super Delegate on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And we even teased Abna. She was there. He said, Abna, I'm going to win, so you come and join me. Mm -hmm. Which well, is an interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and Abna is like a sister to me. Mm -hmm. The Honorable Kofi James, he was former campaign manager for. The Honorable Alan Chemati by supporting Baumia. So it's, it's an interesting family contest, but that's what I'm saying. I want to see. Oh, it's also the political aid yes. for uh, Mr. Alan Chemati. Yes. But John Kuma has been. Oh, the, 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 the Minister of yes. Finance. Yes. Oh, it's yes. been an aid to Alan. Yes. In fact, it was John Kuma and Co. Stephen Amwa. Yes, Stephen Amwa, Michael Amwa. Michael Amwa, they formed the campus thing for Alan. That's 2007 one, the big one. Stephen Amwa, I, I remember yeah. for sure. So, yeah, really, Stephen Amwa is also the Baumia person now. That's what I'm saying. That mm. It's, 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 it's cross-fertilization. Mm. Uh, nobody should be stuck or static. I'm telling you. If you sit on WhatsApp alone with your campaign team, you will lose this election. So get out there. Mm -hmm. Communicate the values of your candidate. This is not an insult contest. We are talking to the youth who are I'm talking to the youth. Yeah. Me, um, I'm used to these attacks and all. But I'm saying that let's bring out the best of our candidate. Our candidates are worth more than the insults you are throwing out there. The insult you want, hate is a wasteful emotion. You only aggravate your pain. Get out there, make your case, campaign to the people. Give me a reason why I should support you or otherwise. And at the end of the day, I'll take 
a decision that I believe will satisfy the base and the interest of our party. And I want to see the young people really leading the campaigns of the various aspirants. Because the future of our party is us, really. Oh, but you and I are doing the panel. Yeah, asking. yeah, but, but I still want yeah. to ask you a question. Uh, Please. I, I you think and I, from the, opposition time, I have been seeing you. Yeah, yeah, this, this question is very important okay. to me. Because I'm coming from a community, mm -hmm. a minority community. That's and right. my people have been asking me that. Yeah. Uh, you, do, you have been campaigning for the vice president on social media. That's what right. plans have, does he have for persons with, living with disability if he becomes the president? I mean, um, I mean there's a very interesting uh, matter and a very serious one. Yeah. The vice president himself has been a very close person to, to persons with disability. Uh, if you take even the uh, leprosarium, he's a patron to the wager leprosarium. Yeah. On numerous occasions, he's also extended that care, love, and affection. He's naturally somebody who cares um, to, to persons with disability. Again, when we start rolling out these uh, policies on our game-changing mechanics, on how we can attract and support all those persons with disability, uh, one with policies and programs, giving them some quota and supporting them into employment, and also assisting those that want to also help get to the very top of wherever they want to get to. It can, no, it can no longer be tokenism when you're talking about disability. Because sitting with me next to each other, I have known him. For people who do not know Dodu, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dodu used you, to you be, when I was, years. I've known him for 10 years, even no more. Yeah. There were times that my first time I got to know him, I was on radio, and he would call and say, no, 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 that time I had just started radio. I haven't seen him in 10 years. He would call and say, no, 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 no. Sammy, you, this thing that you are talking about, no. They, they said this, that, that, that. I said, ah. Ah, who is this guy? The next time, then he came to meet me at the radio station. So, oh, this is your brother who was, I said, oh, okay. Then he became my, my, my thinking cap. But do, do, you know, he can be also very stubborn as a brother. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so George, Quantin Adenta uh, writes, he says that, Paul, do you know that 2020 election was the first election a political party maintained power without winning Greater Accra Region? MPP won 2020 elections but lost the Greater Accra Region. Look, it will be suicidal for the MPP to reject Dr. Balmia. Mm -hmm. Greetings to the Supreme Minister, so, Samuel Kudas, George. Uh, so this is a brother that, that I've also not heard from in a long while, Charles Tichibod. So he should come and, he should <laughs> no, come and look yeah, for yeah, him. He's been, he's been, he's, he said he's, he, he has yeah. not been cool with me, but he must admit okay, that. So, and even I've heard some of the candidates say that delegates should be looking at electing someone who the whole of Ghana is more acceptable to the whole of Ghana that, rather than in the party, so that it will make a 2024 much easier. Some an, um, analysts have said, say, say, some surveys, um, Info Analytica have done a survey which has said that um, this challenge is more acceptable to more Ghanaians than in the MPP. What do you have to say about that? Ryan, that's a very good question, but the delegates are also Ghanaians. And they live in the communities and the constituencies. And whoever they elect represents the popularity at the base. Make, make no mistake. Because our party, for instance, if you take the polling stations, almost 40,000 polling stations we have across the country. We have five elected polling station executives. These polling stations coming together represent our con electoral areas and constituencies. And so clearly, these constituency executives are elected by the polling stations and the electoral area. They always test the polls and represent the, the, the base of the party. So the NPP more or less is like Little Ghana. The NDC more or less is a Little Ghana, if you take the architecture of the party's organization.